The ability to output ammunition is an important indicator of the performance of a weapon, especially for heavy firepower equipment such as artillery. The unit that can output more ammunition to cover targets in a given time period can gain more advantages on the battlefield. Heavy mortars are a common type of land warfare weapon, with similar ammunition power to same level howitzers, but they have slower loading and weaker short-term firepower. In the mid-1980s, the Austrian company Narica Maschinenbau UND Handel GmbH proposed the concept of a rapid-fire mortar, which is the development of a 120mm mortar system that can fire rapidly. The system was named SM-4, with SM standing for salvo mortar, meaning salvo mortar, and for indicating that the system has four mortars. The designers hoped to achieve their goal through a relatively simple structure. Initially, they built the platform on the Unimog U1700L truck to create a wheeled self-propelled mortar. Like some other open self-propelled mortars, the SM-4 system is actually an additional accessory. For 120mm mortars are installed side by side on a platform that can be flipped by hydraulic equipment. When the vehicle is mobile, the hydraulic system retracts the mortars upwards, and the gun barrels lie flat on the truck deck. When deployed, the bottom plate touches the ground to absorb the recoil during firing. The four mortars are linked, with an elevation firing range of 45 degrees to 79 degrees, and they can also be adjusted horizontally to a total range of 28 degrees. Although this self-propelled mortar has high mobility and can be easily transported by large transport aircraft, and in theory can fire four rounds at the same time, it is a failed design. The mortar selected is the NATO standard 120mm heavy mortar, and the closely arranged four mortars mean that multiple loaders cannot work effectively. The weight and size of the shells also do not allow one person to load ammunition for more than two mortars at a time, so the advantage of multiple barrels cannot be utilized. However, during sustained firing, it is possible to rotate the firing between different mortar tubes, which is advantageous for cooling the tubes. Another issue with the system is that the linked firing of the four mortars causes unfavorable vibrations when firing two or four rounds at the same time, affecting the accuracy of the shooting. The designers then built a second SM-4, which was structurally optimized. For example, the position of the hydraulic cylinder was changed from the two sides of the system to the middle, and a new base was added. The system was tested on a tracked vehicle. The new system had slightly higher stability during firing, but no other valuable technical changes were made. It is said that the Austrian military once wanted to replace the towed M101 105mm howitzer with the SM-4 system. This howitzer was produced in 1941 and was already outdated in the 1980s, with a maximum range of less than 12 km. The 120mm mortar in the SM-4 system uses a 25x caliber barrel and fires NATO standard ammunition, with a maximum range of about 11.5 km, similar in power to the 105mm howitzer. However, the military did not accept the SM-4, mainly due to its loading method. Each of the four mortars requires independent loading, a process that is completely reliant on manpower and cannot effectively achieve the desired firepower output of the four mortars. It is believed that the system should be designed with a loading system that can load all four mortars simultaneously, which may not be practical in terms of cost. Currently, mortars with loading systems mostly choose the breech loading type, such as the Swedish Amos and the Soviet Sledovital while the development of a muzzle loading system for the SM-4 may be too costly and deviate from the original intention of a simple and reliable design.